Hi there, yeah. Hey, how are you guys? Very well. We're enjoying the New York sunshine. You liking it? Of course, it's great. Well, so you guys right now, um, for people who don't know, the professionals, you you guys have been broken up for almost 35 years now and uh, recently returned and are recording a brand new record. Tom, I know you're new to the band, but uh, Paul, after all these years coming back, um, what, what was it like playing these professional songs again? And I mean, playing with Paul Myers again, like, what was that like after all these years? It was good fun, you know, because I'd sort of um, never listened to the Professionals album for many years, put it on the back burner, and we just, uh, as the guys are still around in London, we just got got together for a bit of fun and started um, playing the old songs, and I thought, you know what, these songs are not bad. And so we just started uh, jamming and Tom, got Tom involved along the way because Steve was in L.A., and he was, there's no way he was going to come back to um, London to just to jam around and mess around with the songs. But that, that was fun. I didn't realise how good the original songs are. But saying that, we realised, I think, early on that if we were going to, when we did realise we were going to take this forward and be a bit serious about it, um, we needed to do some new material. And so me and Tom, we started writing some new songs. I didn't want to just go back in time and play the wee old stuff. We needed to, uh, wanted to do some new songs as well. And that, uh, that, that happened, and we ended up uh, getting a, a great album out of it. That's awesome. And, uh, Tom, I mean, how familiar were you with the band before joining it? Of course, I knew I was too young for the Pistols, um, but they were, you know, when I was a punk in my, my teens, the Pistols had been and gone, and they were like the kind of gods that you never got to see. I saw them in 96 when they reformed, but Professionals, I bought their singles when they came out. So that's, so ever since my musical life has been influenced them, they, they're the people I'd learn to play guitar, but for like, you know, so again, hopefully it made me right for this job. That's a great way, you know, going in. Yeah, if you already know this stuff, you're influenced by it. And uh, I wanted to ask, too, for the new album, What in the World, that's up for pre-order right now on Pledge Music. And um, including you, Paul, I mean, someone who's been in the industry as long as you have, did you ever imagine that it would go to a, uh, that a format like crowdfunding now exists? Did you think any, like, anything like that would, uh, you know what I mean? Like, did you ever see that happening where you don't really need labels now? Like you guys are doing, you can, you can self-release this stuff? Um, no, I, di- I didn't see that coming. Obviously, I don't think a lot of people did, but um, it's just the, it's just the way of the world with the music business now. Um, and I was very uh, skeptical about it. It was Tom Tom that um, came up with the idea of doing it, really, because there's no way we were going to get a record deal with the, this uh, professionals, the new the new look professionals, if you like. And so we needed a little bit of cash input to pay people, obviously, to make an album. And Tom came up with a pledge idea, and it's turned out great. You know, it's, um... and from that, though, we have uh, you know the, the End Records. We have got an American release for a label, the End Records, which is kind of why we're here. And uh, so we didn't expect that, but we got that, and a, and a little sort of deal with the Japanese thing and a European thing. So lots, lots has grown out of pledge. Oh wow! No, I didn't realize that. Yeah, I thought it was only through uh, Pledge, but no. On October the twenty seventh, it comes out on the End Records here. The end. The end. The yeah. end. The end records. The end records. Yeah. 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 yeah we got a deal in the states, like Tom just said, and it's, it's been uh, we've been pleasantly suppl- uh, surprised. <laughs> surprised. <laughs> surprised. Pleasantly <laughs> surprised uh, from the feedback. Uh, uh, for what we're doing, actually, it's, it's been great. Yeah, I mean, what what did you expect? Um, I mean, coming back to the professionals, I know you guys really only put out like one studio album and you know it'd been so many years did you did, how, like how big of an audience did you expect we didn't know really we just um we just put it out there we just thought we'd we'd have a go it's just uh, for a bit of fun but it is um evolved into something uh, quite good really with the with the album coming out a new album with lots of great guests on there and it's um I don't know. We're still finding our way, really. We're still we won't know, I guess, until the album comes out and we, we get the feedback from people. I like that though. It almost sounds like it's almost like a new band. You know what I mean? Like you're you're kind of winning people over again, and you're kind of I'm sure you're finding a new audience too. It's kind of that's interesting coming back like that. And and yeah, it, it sounds like it's different. You know, doesn't it? It feels like it's fresh. Yeah, it did feel that we've really enjoyed the writing process, and obviously although it hasn't gone public yet. You know, people who have been hearing it in the studio and whatever were getting a great reaction from the guests, and you know, getting compliments from Billy Duffy about the, the songs. It was great in the meantime you know to to make it and especially because i mean it's quite major change in the vocalist on a band isn't it so you know but the professionals were a cook and jones 
project and when Steve went in it I mean Paul's got Paul felt he had the right to the name as well you know it's his thing and uh, we've got the original bass player we, we uh, the, uh, the original guitarist we didn't get on with and that's what led to um, Paul getting out his punk rock address book and making a few phone calls and getting these brilliant guests on it to sort of you know add a bit of colour on some of the tracks you know the, the job of a fourth member really yeah and then also I mean speaking of I mean you have loads of guests on the new album and Steve Jones actually plays on a few of the songs was this the first time, Paul, um, you playing with him again since that last Professionals record? Was that the last time you guys recorded together? Um, recorded, yeah. I mean, we've done some stuff over the years. I've been when I've when I've been in Los Angeles, we've um, we've been playing together. We've done some playing, but not not a lot. We've done the Pistols reunion tours, obviously, but yeah. no no, re- no recording. This was the this is yeah exactly the first time. I mean, Steve, Steve was our. Hard work to get on the album, actually. I, need, I needed a bit of arm twisting, but we got <laughs> we got there eventually. With it, I don't think he was. Uh, I think he was a bit sceptical about it, but he helped out, and he's got his great power called guitar on there on a few tracks, along with Billy. Uh, they're both on the new single, actually, on the Good Man Down. Billy Duffy and Steve Jones are playing on it, and it, it sounds great guitar wise. I must admit. And then, who are some of the other guests on the? I mean, you you have. I was I was looking at the track list. I mean, on all ten songs, you do have loads of guests. And like you said, I mean, we have Steve Jones, um, Billy Duffy, Duff McKagan. Did I see he's on the album too? Yeah. Yeah. You have you have a lot of really good guests on that. So uh, yeah. my other question. I mean, you guys are releasing the new music, and you guys will be playing a headlining uh, show over there in the UK on October twenty eighth. But do you guys plan on doing like? Heavy touring, or are you just guys? Are you guys just kind of planning on maybe playing one-offs here and there? Well, we're going to do. It. We, I mean, we would love to come back and tour the states, for, and, uh, but you know, I don't know if we do every touring. I think we're more likely to come over to just do a bunch of shows on the east coast, west coast. I'm not sure how you know how far we'll go with that, but um, we'd love to play everywhere. You know, yeah, we're not, we're not sure what the demand will be really because it's like a like as you said, it's a new lineup, it's a new album, and so. We're waiting. Um, we've got to see what the feedback is from the album, really, and see, see see where it goes from there, really, once the album's out. I do want to ask before I let you go real quick. October 28th is the 40th anniversary of uh, Nevermind the Bullocks. And I just got to ask you, I mean, what do you think of the legacy of the Sex Pistols? Does that surprise you, like, how just how huge and still how special that band is? I mean, all these years later... Yeah, it does. It ne- never fails to surprise me, really, because when we first got the band together all those years ago, we didn't have the faintest idea of how 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 massive this was going to be and how influential it's going to be. And and then still to this day, I think it is as well. It's 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 really weird when we were got back together in '96 and then done a few tours after. It's it seemed to get bigger and bigger and. And stronger every time we played, you know. Whether that would still be the case now, I don't know. But yeah, we didn't. We didn't. Uh, when we first started out, we we wanted to shake things up and you know just get things moving. And we didn't realize to what extent we would do that. That's for sure. <laughs> well, I think you guys definitely succeeded at that. Um, I do want to thank you guys. The professionals, like I said, do have a new album out right now for pre-order on PledgeMusic.com. It's called What in the World. And uh, Paul and Tom, thank you so much for calling in today. It was great talking to you. Yeah, thanks. Thank you very much. much.